Hello students, in this second video on electricity, for class 10, we will learn about Ohm's law and different types of resistors. In the last video, we have seen symbols of the resistors. Resistors in a circuit look like the figure here shown and they are very important components of any electronic circuit. They follow Ohm's law. Resistors can be of two types, fixed value resistors whose values are fixed like 1 ohm, 5 ohm, etc. Many times it becomes necessary to increase or decrease current in the electric circuit. To do so, without changing the voltage, a component used is variable resistor in the circuit. Variable resistor can increase value in steps like 5 ohm, 10 ohm, 15 ohm as we do in the regulator of the fan. The device shown here below is a rheostate in which there is a sliding cradle which changes the value not in steps but on a continuous level. To summarize, we have three types of the resistors, fixed value resistors whose value remains fixed throughout, variable resistors whose value changes in steps and the rheostate whose value can be made to change to any desired specification in the range. The resistance of conductor depends on four factors. First material of the conductor. Every material has a specific resistivity which is denoted by rho. Temperature of the conductor, length of the conductor L and cross-sectional area of the conductor A. Putting this information in equation form, we get two equations. Number one, resistance is directly proportional to the length L and inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area A. Summing up the two equations, we get R is equals to rho into L by A, where rho is a sign put to remove the proportionality symbol. SI unit of rho, that is electrical resistivity, is ohm meter. German physicist George Ohm, through experiments prove there is a relationship between the potential difference across a conductor and the current flowing through it. He proved that potential difference across a conductor depends on two factors, I, the current, and the resistance. So he gave the formula V is equals to IR, which is known as Ohm's law. To verify Ohm's law, we need to make a simple circuit as shown in the diagram over here. It has four things, resistor, source of current that is battery, voltmeter to measure the potential difference across the resistor, and emitter what measures the current passing through the circuit. In this circuit, there are three values, V, I and R. We can keep any one of them as constant and vary the two and find out a relationship between them. The figure the, in bottom side of here shows you how when you are increasing resistance, current goes down. And when the resistance is reduced, current increases in the circuit. Keeping R constant and changing different potential data is compiled for different values of V, how much current is flowing using a meter. And then the graph is plotted. It is a straight line. Then again, resistance is slightly increased. Another set of data is compiled for different values of V, I is again noted and again the graph is plotted. This 
relationship is a linear relationship between V and I. Ohm's law is used to determine value of resistor required in circuit to maintain balance between V and I. Following is a simple representation of Ohm's law in a triangle. It helps us to remember how to put the values. Say, we have to calculate V. Then in the triangle, you can see that I and R are nearby, so they have to be multiplied. If we have to find I, V is above the R, so I is equal to V upon R. Similarly, R is equal to V upon I. Hope you enjoy this simple way of remembering Ohm's law. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe the channel. Thanks again.